Hello, welcome to my Let's Play Ferris ID CIA. It's Club Initial Armor, CIA for short. So, I'm just going to get into this real quick, and the rules are simple, but I'll explain more. So here we are, this is day one. Day one's pretty simple. I mean, the enemies are gonna be scaled to our level, so it's not gonna be too difficult. And, and enemies in day one are very easy to hit. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. We have our main protagonist here, Aya Brea. The officer at the game says here, I don't know. I just, you're right. I'll try to have more fun. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. So line up. We're going to have a great time. You'll see. All right. So first rule of the CIA challenge is uh, we always must clip a club weapon. And the thing about the club is it has the fastest AT charge rate in the game. But attack power is pretty good. But its range is really poor and it attacks really slow. And our other rule is we must equip state the initial armor that we started in the game. So I'm not allowed to upgrade or change this in any kind of way. And there's only one exception to the rule, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when we get to it. So we're going to go in here and start watching one of, the most, one of my favorite intros to a video game ever. So let's get in here. The thing about this game is that it throws you right into the action very quickly. Father, please give me permission to m marry Ava. I forbid it. You know well what happens if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She's evil. Grab her and burn her at the stake. God damn, man. Back up. Father! If you are censoring to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward.
But yeah, that just happened. Jesus, I don't. Oh my God, I, I go get out of here now. Yeah, so that scene really blew my mind as a kid. Just seeing people just burst into flames like that. What you're gonna notice here is Aya's walk, running speed is very slow. So in large maps, it takes a while to get anywhere. So up here, we're gonna have our very first quote-unquote boss. This is a tutorial battle. Well, she has 40 HP. She only has one attack. Pretty simple. Freeze, NYPD. Hmm, you're the one that only seems to be fine. What? We should be awakening soon. What? What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. Much of battle to me. They're calling out. All right. So you can see that circle, right? That bubble around is that's the range of the club. So, so hit it right there. And the first hit always unlocks the PE. That's the magic system of this game. Mostly the support spells for the most part. It's like two attacks, but you can only use one of them. Just as I thought. We'll get into that later. What is this? What did you do to me? So, got that one attack. Just as long as you move around, you, should, you shouldn't really get hit. But the thing is, if you get too close to enemies, you take touch damage. And that's going to be a real nuisance in this run. You know, obviously the club has really poor range, so we have to get really close to most of our, really close to all the enemies to, to get a good hit. Okay, just gonna take a couple hits. That should do it. Our bodies are communicating with each other. We said that already. What? Communicating? What? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? E. E. I'm surprised you don't know me, I. You should know me very well. What? What? What is this? What was that? Ha 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 ha. Wait, where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. So we're just gonna follow her here, as you can see. Very hard to get lost in this place. So we're gonna go in there, grab this chest here. Very useful item here. Maybe medicine one, heals you 45 HP. Healing gun is always good in RPGs, I would say. I know she's down there. Sounds like my back was arrived. So we're just gonna jump down, but down back there you can go and get 60 bullets, but since we're not using guns, we don't need that. Creepy little girl. Are you alone? It's dangerous here, you should go. You got you gotta have it, man. No game's complete. No horror game. Even though this game's not scary. You gotta have the creepy girl. That girl couldn't be. Alright, down the hall. Can't enter any of these doors right now. But we're gonna have our first, you know, regular enemy here very shortly after this cool ass scene. So, first enemy here is the rat. Real simple. I like to stay on the side of this enemy. If you stand in front of it too long, it'll, it'll lunge and bite at you. So, it's, it's kind of in a weird angle, so... Got hit there. You're gonna notice that it's gonna be very hard not to get hit with the club. Just because of its, its attack speed. And, you know, I is very slow with the movement. Jesus, what did he do to that rat? What's going on here? So, I'm just gonna grab the key. I'm not trying to waste y'all guys' time here.
So we're gonna grab the key off of this body here. Ah! Get the right pixel because the game is very finicky when it comes to being in the right spot to pick up items. Where, where, what is this key? That's the spirit key. And I'll come back around here and I'm just gonna grab this chest. Now I'm just gonna open this up just see there's a parrot here that you can do a, do a battle with. Well, I'm not gonna bother. Just to show it off. Yeah, we're gonna explore some rooms and then we're gonna keep it moving. Go in here, unlock this door. Now I'm gonna show you this fight here. Merry, Merry Christmas, goodbye. Yes, it was clear the Parasite is a Christmas game. Best Christmas game of all time, maybe. But debatable. So this thing is real simple. It usually likes to lunge at you and return to its original position. So you just you just wait for it to attack. And then you go back to where it was and you hit it with the club. And they, they go down in one shot. So I'm just going to go down these ones. And I'm just going to go stick to the right here. Ah, take every, take it, take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I'm, I was just getting ready. You know what? You know, only staff is allowed in here. There was an incident here. You have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya. I'm trying to get out of here too, but oh, looks like you didn't make it. So we're gonna go down, see what happened to this guy. Oh, got a, another counter. So the thing about encounters in this game is that certain rooms have hot spots, and the more the more times you hit that hot spot, the first time you enter a room, let me set it up. The first time you enter a room, that hot spot trigger is 100%. So you always get a battle the first time. So I took some damage there, so I continue. And every once you beat the battle, next time you hit that hot spot, that percent chance lowers. But the lowest you can get to ten percent. So we're gonna use. It's gonna take a while to, to train and level up, but we're gonna have to use that to our advantage in this challenge. So I'm just gonna show you some more battle rooms that you can use to level up. So here we go. Here, here. Took a little while longer than I liked, but here we go. So the thing about the rooms. And this challenge is going to be very important. Larger rooms can make enemies more difficult to hit and more dangerous. So you see how that bird launched at me there and it went back to his position. I'm going to take him out. And then with the rats, you should know, they're pretty, they're very stationary for the most part. Sometimes you're going to get, hopefully, hopefully, all oh, that guy's being a jerk. Hopefully, you stay still. Like I said, I like to stay to the side. Do it once again. You can also bait the rats to do the fire move if you stay far away enough. You know? In big areas like that, the attacks are easy. That attack is easier to dodge. But in small places, most of the time, if you're very close. You're more likely to get hit. So, I'm gonna go. In. Let's go unlock the door to the other side here. And I'm just gonna go in this door. You know, there's nothing in here. Just to show you all. Just to show you some of the rooms here. All the rooms here. So we got in this chest. Got a defense plus, but we're not gonna allow you that. So a nice feature in this game is if you don't want the item, you can put it right back in the box where you got it. And there's also a, a hidden chest in here too. I believe it has it has a better armor than I have. Yeah, so it's the unprotector, so I'm just gonna put that right back in the box. Feels like you can open this list. You can. And there's a there's a there's a rat inside. So I'm just gonna take him out real quick. AT is not really full because it starts in a random, random position. Every fight, so that time it wasn't ready, so I had to wait a little bit for so I can attack. Alright, so I'm just gonna go rest the story. You got another game like getting encounters. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And I'm just gonna go in here. So 
So we're gonna open it up. I think I think it's a cup. I think I think matter what. I'm not sure. I think it's I think it's at least four of these. Oh, there we go. I wasn't sure how many, but I think you unlock that middle one, there, that last one to the right, and this it activates this guy to have some dialogue. You're alive. You're still alive. Hold on. Let me call the paramedics. Melissa, she's a monster. Don't tr try to talk now, Melissa. Melissa, you mean that ain't actress? Yeah, she probably got Suzanne, too. You'll probably, have, you'll probably have to stop her. No, please, wake up. Hang in there. There's, there's no coming back from that, man. Look, he's, he's like cinders. It's like you can see that design. I don't know what to call it. The words escape me right now. But he's, you can tell that there's no way you're coming back from that. So we're going to go grab this final key here. I'm going to unlock the, the final door to get the final key. Mixing up my words today. What's going on with that? All right, so I'm gonna get the right pixel here because it's really picky. A diary. The Christmas show is set. This was in my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all the medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. The cast was announced as Suzanne and I are double cast. I wanted to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter than ever for some reason. I better take more medicine. I collapsed today. I lost conscience after my body got hot. I don't care if I die, I just want to get through the show. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctors and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I better take a lot of medication tonight. Suzanne was burnt in an apartment fire. Is it bad? I want the part so bad? God forgive me. It looks like I'll be the lead. I better take my medication and work it. Over the night, everything went smoothly. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have a solo concert the next day at the park, but I'm not feeling very, very feeling well. I better shape up if I want to take get shape up if I want to get through this. I better take my medication. The reading's hard. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key. Rehearse key. So I believe there's some ammo in this drawer here. Yep, not gonna, useless, but you can't put the ammo crate away, so it doesn't matter if you take the ammo or not. So I got one experience, so I'm gonna try to get a level up here. This is extremely important. So I'll be right back and, tr and try to get one more, one more fight. All right, so we're back. We just got my, I got my level up. So level up is gonna be extremely important in this run. This is the only way to increase all of our stats, especially in defense and HP, because as, as the days get on, the enemies get more to have a lot more have more defense and they hit a lot harder. So if we can't keep up with our DPS, we're we're just gonna eventually we're gonna get hit and we're just gonna you know we're gonna get hit and we're not gonna do enough damage and it's gonna get extremely difficult and very tedious and you're probably end up dying most of the cases so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna have our second our first real boss fight So this boss here has about 80 HP. Her attacks, it's pretty similar to the first fight, but she has, an, she has a claw swipe attack if you get really close. I'm Alyssa. No, I... I, I, I am Eve. Ah, I'm getting hot. Nucleic domination has finally come to end once and for all. What? Once again, the day for Mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. All right, so I'm gonna do the safe strat. I'm gonna bait her. I'm gonna stay away from her and bait her to do the laser attack. 
very easy, easy, it's easy to deal with. You don't want to get too close and have her back to the claw, because then she starts flying around sporadically. And each claw, I think around my level, I do from 14 to 16 damage. And that gets a little dangerous. So I'm just going to wait and bait her again, and I'm just going to repeat. Took some touch damage there. Oh, God damn it. Do that again. There we go. Taking touch damage, getting a little too close to her. Come on, woman, hurry up. Let's do about one more hit after this. Oh, there's a claw attack. There you go. Not, not a hard fight at all. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria, what are you saying? I don't understand you. What? Where is this? Is that is that a little girl I saw? No, it's... I'm not sure it's something important. It's pretty... I mean, that guy's not suspicious at all. That doctor, wait. And she's gone. Bottle oh. conjure to be free. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Next time, we're going to see where Eve went. Pie beat her up with a nightstick. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.